Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2019. Brought to you by Informatica. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's coverage of Informatica World here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. I'm joined by two guests for this segment. We have Rick Tam Daniels. He is the VP Strategic Ecosystems and Technology at Informatica. Welcome, Rick. Thank you. And Yoav Enov. He is the VP Product for Gigaspace. Welcome. Thank you. Happy to be here. So this is a fun segment. <laughs> uh, you are the winner of the Informatica World 2019 Solutions Expo. Cloud and Innovation yeah. Award. I want to get to you in a second and hear all about Gigaspace. But I want to start with you, Rick. Talk a little bit about this award and about the genesis of it. Where did, where did the idea come from? Yeah, so one of the things we really wanted to do at Informatica World this year is create address some of the most important topics that the customers want to hear about. So cloud and AI, two of the hottest topics in the industry, everyone wants to know about it. And what we want to do is take a lot of our emerging partners that are doing some very innovative things with Informatica technology and put them front and center. So if you look at the Expo Hall floor, it's right in the middle, we have this, almost like an art gallery of all this cool innovation we have going on around the Informatica technology. Uh, and the idea was that we had attendees come in and actually review the solutions. They had to be real full demos, full working demos, uh, and they could vote on the app, they could say what their favorites were, and the end result is, I'm happy to announce, Gigaspace is our big winner. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, attendees would vote on the app, yep. and so, gig so Gigaspace, tell us about it. You're yeah. based in Israel. Yeah, so our R&D is based in Israel, our HQ is in New York. Um, basically, the Gigaspace was, uh, was, we've been in the market for more than a decade, deployed like in the largest enterprise in the world, you can, like banks, like Bank of America, like uh, Industrial IoT, like Schneider Electric, largest airline, largest railway companies. And basically, we provide the speed for their application and big data infrastructure. So they deploy like real-time use cases like fraud detection, dynamic pricing, predictive maintenance, all those t uh, different types of services that require the speed on the big data side. So yeah. you're all about speed? All about speed. If you need the speed, we're the provider for you. Yeah. Well, that's, a, that's very exciting. So talk a little bit about the conversations that you were having uh, with some of the attendees. What kinds of questions were you getting? So I think a, a, a lot of customers, joint customers of ours in Informatica are talking about the move from kind of historical ana analysis to more proactive event-driven analytics when you want to be able to, instead of interact with the data, uh, once a day, once an hour, you want to be able to drive analytics on the moment as soon as it happens to provide you the ability to, to run your online processes and not instead of kind of offline processes. So for example, fraud detection, which is the most easy ex example, you want to be able to run your fraud an analysis on, an, on the payment as soon as, as soon as it happens on a millisecond level and not like a few seconds after the transaction was over. So it's again, we're talking about the speed, the ability to handle high or amount of data with low latency sub-second response time. And how are you using Informatica? Cool, so uh, we've been working lately with Informatica very tightly with both their product team and their R&D team across Israel, India, the US on, on integrating with some of their different products. We're, we're basically we've built kind of a, what Gartner calls the digital integration hub. It's like the next gen big data architecture which provides you both the Informatica side that allows you to ingest any type of data. It could be text, logs, transaction, payments, anything you have together with their meta da metadata management, and on top of it, using Gigaspaces for the real-time analytics and the high performance and speed. So Rick, I know that this was uh, attendee chosen, so there's no rigging here, yep, but I'd love up. to hear what your thoughts are in Gigaspace in terms of the innovations that they're doing in these, in these very important problems like yep. fraud detection and predictive maintenance. Uh, these, are, these are big problems that companies are really wrestling with. Yeah, and I, I think what's exciting about the, the solution they had is it was a great business case. Right, and I think that really resonated with attendees, looking at, everyone can identify with fraud analytics. Everyone's unfortunately probably been a victim of it, so they get to see how it works. But I think it also focuses on the aspect of AI, but how do you operationalize AI? So there's the whole model building piece of it, and you know, Informatica is a strong player there as well, but now you say, well, let's actually, we have the model, we need to execute quickly. How do we do that you know, with the, the Gigaspaces technology, uh, but also combine it with the right historical context, right, to make, make the right decisions? So it really does hit on, how do you actually take AI and make it a real thing? And, and, and the other important part is the business case and what you were just saying in terms of if a, if a customer is the victim of fraud, he or she blames the institution, not the hacker. Right. <laughs> and if there's a problem with, with an airline maintenance problem, yeah. you, you blame the airline, of course, not the faulty 
problems that it was having. Yeah. So, so I think that that also really shows what are what's in the future. What are you seeing? Kind of more innovations that you want to add to the GigaSpace platform. So I think we're working today a lot about like uh, Rick was mentioning about operationalizing AI. So we see a lot of challenge today of moving from the research, development, training part of the AI or the machine learning models to move to production. Let's say you're a payment provider, you have the model, you can detect fraud, but your, the ability for you to run it on millions of transactions a second in a sub, or let's say a few millisecond level, that's the biggest challenge. And if you do it in a, a few seconds after the transaction was over, then the, the, you know, the loss of the, the fraud or the wire was all, all already happened. So again, the operationalized part of taking your model from your data science platform, put it in production with the scale of the ingestion rate, low latency, you know, scaling on peak events like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, that's the biggest challenge in, on the production systems. No, the, uh, the speed is, yeah. is of the essence. Yeah. Rick, this has been a successful experiment yes. trying this. I mean, wh what are you hearing from attendees? Did they like it? Were they sort of, how, do I, how does this work? What, what is this about? I think they really enjoyed it. Every time I, look, I went over to the zone, it was full of people having deep conversations, really getting into the technology and understanding. Because as I mentioned, these are topics that I think everyone came here to the show to really learn more about how are they going to get, where are they going to go in their cloud journey, where are they going to go in their AI journey. Uh, so great feedback from attendees, a lot of active participation. So, I'm so you're going to do it, we're going to see it in Informatica Absolutely. bigger, 2020. better, yeah. it's going to be great, yep. So now that you're the winner, you're going to be up there on the main stage, yeah. getting some recognition that's exciting. What, what are you going to take back to, I know you're, you're based in both Israel and New York, what, what, do you, what does this mean for your company? So I think the, the next step is taking it to the business side, right? We want to make sure that the joint offering and the joint partnership moves to the next stage, taking it to the next customer. We have some joint customer, we have some new prospect, we have a lot of leads from the show here, sitting next to, uh, sitting side by side with other partners of Informatica like Databricks and Snowflakes and Cloudera. So we have a lot of joint offering and solving real time like business and of the largest, most challenging enterprise we have like, you know, largest banks, largest airlines, largest like uh, railways companies. So I think the, the next step is moving, taking it from the exhibition to the field. Great, well this is terrific. And congratulations yeah. once again, really exciting. I'm Thank really happy for you. Yeah. Rick, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Okay. You have been watching theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World 2019. I'm Rebecca Knight, stay tuned.